Dr. Mori, Uncivilized Vitality. This is a video about uh, being lost in the woods. Well, sort of. Maybe we'll do a whole series about being lost in the woods because there's a lot to that. Uh, being found is um, kind of a skill. It's not, you know, wandering around and panicking. And that leads to, you know, Uncivilized Vitality's position on those terms like survivalist and uh, prepper and bushcrafting. And I've got another video about that. But anybody that just can huddle up and not die until you're found, you're a survivalist. You don't need all the fancy gear. You should have your basic things on you each day, uh, some paracord, uh, container to boil or, or preserve, or sorry, transport water, and some kind of at least one cutting instrument. But when we take people out on campaigns, we're worried they might get lost. You know, it, it, we, we've only lost uh, one guy, <laughs> Lynn, the wanderer. Um, but we only lost him for like two hours. We were picking berries and Lynn was eating berries. He looked up, we were gone. Classic story. New area to Lynn and he ended up just walking in a kind of a square. So we came up with these uh, lost, we call them laugh kits, L-A-F, lost and found. So this is the uncivilized L-A-F kit. And that stands for lost and found. We hand these out. And this is what you can put in yours if you think if you think you like these ideas. We had these sweet little bags made up. They're bright orange. They've got uh, the little logo spray painted on there. We've had these for a long time. Actually, this is our demonstration model at the beginning, so I hope everything's in here. It's got a little toggle lock on it. It's a uh, small and flat, cylindrical shape. Fits right in a pocket. Fits down in a back pocket. You can just clip this and wear it around your around your neck or tuck it in. So we hand these out to everybody and we say, if you get lost, sit down, open your laugh kit. And then hopefully the name laugh kit puts them in a, a positive frame of mind. Like, oh, this is funny. I'm in no danger. I'll just wait till more or somebody comes. So you open up your laugh kit and you pull it out. And these are the components I put in. I'll explain why. I have a little kit there, or a little bag. Um, those are made by, uh, we, we did them like this, and then I have, a, I have a friend named Jen Lewis who sewed all these up by hand for us. She sewed a few dozen of these things real quick, so thanks, Jen. We might need uh, a, a bunch more soon. So in your laugh kit, you're going to find this. There are going to be two Ranger Bands that hold. Uh, the Ranger Bands can be used for lots of different things. The Ranger Bands can be uh, even used as uh, fire starting tinder because they will burn. So a couple Ranger Bands, and then you're going to have a gallon size Ziploc bag. Okay. The gallon size Ziploc bag will be used for various purposes. So let's take out the, the contents. Right. So you got the gallon size Ziploc bag and you got your two Ranger bands so far. Immediately in there are going to be uh, a really bright, this one's kind of faded, a bright yellow or orange cotton bandana, just a standard size bandana, which will immediately work as a, a signaling device or a flag. You can hang that on the branch above you in the wind or you can tie it around your arm or around your head so you're easier to find. Let's say you're lost and you lay down through exhaustion to fall asleep and the rescue party walks right by you. If you have this tied around, even if you're unconscious or injured or sleeping, they'd be able to find you. A lot of other uses for this too. We'll get to that in a second. Next thing as far as going along with signaling is there's a glow stick in each one. Get out, crack this open, hang it from a tree, um, attach it to your body, just another way to be uh, found. Plus, after it gets dark, this might give you a little comfort not being in the woods uh, after dark by yourself. For some reason, people don't like that. There is a bright orange signal whistle in each one. Uh, and we tell people, if you do open your laugh kit and crack it open, once you put your lips in this whistle, this whistle is yours now. So, uh, otherwise, we have the safety whistle in there. I'm not going to toot on it because it is a demonstration model, and I don't know who Patrick or Logan, whoever is using it last to demonstrate things, could be full of cooties. So, bright orange signal whistle. So we got a signal panel, glow stick, and a whistle. And then we've got a couple of items over here. We've got a Mylar space blanket. You can use that to regulate your body temperature and stay warm. Right? You can use that for reflection and for signaling. And we have about six feet of Gorilla Tape folded flat. And uh, you can do that yourself, or you can get these little packages from Wazoo Survival Gear, these little flat folds. And one thing is missing from that. We had a couple of, also from Wazoo Survival Gear, they're blaze orange and IR reflective um, twist ties, like you would twist up a garbage bag. They're blaze orange, and there's usually a half a dozen of them in here, so you can, if you do have to move, 
you can leave those uh, as a trail marker. That's normally in the kit as well, the flat tape. And then there's a one quart size uh, Ziploc bag. And inside that bag is a set of water purification tabs sized out to one US quart. So this is uh, all the things that are in the laugh kit and it's set up with this mentality in mind. So you get lost. I want them to sit down. First three minutes, you wanna make sure that you have no problems um, breathing or there's no bleeding. If there is bleeding, that's not a full first aid kit, but you can use the tape and the bandana to, for a makeshift bandage. Okay? That's about as, as close as we can get for that. So when you stop that up, do your best for little scratches or cuts. Tending to your wounds will give you something to focus on so you can calm down and uh, be less afraid, less panicky. Fear, uh, panic, strong emotions are going to decrease your ability to uh, critically think and be reasonable and use discernment. So you got to calm down first. Sit down, open your kit, tend to any bleeding uh, or wounds you have. Next, make yourself comfortable, get that Mylar blanket out and start putting a shelter together or warming your body up. Start tooting on your whistle, hold up your signal, crack your glow stick if it's getting dark, okay? If you uh, need to pass the time, the next thing you wanna do is tend to your sleeping, sleeping comfortably with the shelter, or getting some water. Purifying some water will give you something to do while you're waiting for the rescuers, and if you, re you know about the timing on this, uh, the little pills and the quart, you can use the larger bag to scoop water out of a, a stream or a, a, a creek or a water source, strain it through the orange bandana to get all the big floaties out into the quart bag, drop one of the tabs in there, seal it up, wrap it up in the mylar or the, the bandana or inside your shirt so it's in the dark. And you just let that purify for a little while, gives you something to do. Then you got some water to drink. Then you can make a second quart. That's a good way to pass an hour. Uh, you can use the bag, the orange bag that Jen sewed for us. That's a sort of a signal panel of sorts if you're using your bandana for other things. Now there's a couple things in this. Uh, it's not a survival kit. It's a lost and found kit. It just gives you things to do if you get lost while you think. Toot on the whistle. Um, every three blasts, every now and then, get the glow stick up. You can use the tape to fashion the glow stick to your body. You can use the tape to attach the glow stick to a tree or a branch or the bandana. Lots of multiple uses. While you sit there, you can, use, uh, you can think of other things you can do with the contents of your kit. Use the tape and the mylar to make an extra garment or a shelter. Uh, a couple things missing from this that makes it not a survival kit. One is some sort of cutting instrument or uh, a pocket knife. But if you're following proper UV protocol, you will have at least one knife or two knives on you at all times. Or if you're like me, three knives on you. So you have your cutting instrument and you should always have on your body one or two ways to start fire. Uh, a lighter, a ferro rod, a backup ferro rod, a, a third ferro rod, maybe one attached to your knife. With a lighter, you'd be able to use the ranger bands to, uh, or even the gorilla tape to get a little bit of a fire going to, to cheer you up while you wait to be rescued. So it's not a survival kit. It's just a lost and found kit. It's got all these items, two water purification tabs with a quart bag, a bunch of flat folded Gorilla Tape, a Mylar blanket, some signaling devices like a whistle, a glow stick, a bright orange signal panel, all contained in this waterproof one gallon Ziploc bag held together with Ranger bands, and then we've got these fancy yellow or uh, orange cases, but you don't necessarily need that. So that's our laugh kit. Uh, those are the ideas and the kind of the thought process behind why I put those together. You should always have a knife and fire on you separate from your survival kit and uh, or separate from your laugh kit more as a survival kit. So if you're lost and uh, you have your knife and your fire steel, you could probably get along just fine. But this just makes it a little easier for people that are new out in the woods. We use these on adventures where there's any possibility that we won't be working in groups uh, or we could get separated like on hikes or such. So uh, leave some comments below what you would put in, uh, add to the laugh kit or subtract from the laugh kit. Remember we want to keep it nice and compact so you will actually carry it your jumbo survival kit that you don't carry when you just walk away from camp for a few minutes and then end up butt lost in the woods, um, that's not gonna do you any good. So, leave comments below, like and subscribe, share the channel, let us know what you carry for your lost and found kit, and uh, uh, we'll go from there, so that's it, thanks.